Well, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but right now I am watching a wheat field that has about 130 birds in it, and there's still probably another 50 birds sitting on the roost, so this is looking pretty good. I've been driving around doing a little bit of scouting using the OnX Hunt app, and the new recent imagery layer on this app is absolutely insane it's a cheat code i don't even know if i really want to tell you guys this because man this thing is really helping me and sam find a lot of birds this year so basically you just go to where you can toggle between the satellite hybrid or the topo layer and there's a little button down here that says recent imagery which i'll pop all that up and you guys can see but basically what it is it's uh satellite images that are updated about every two weeks so onyx has really stepped up their game uh this is super helpful to see what's planted at that exact moment and what the water levels are it is an absolutely insane layer so if you guys are gonna be doing some hunting i would definitely turn it on but if you guys want to download the onyx hunt app it'll be linked down below or you guys can scan this little QR code and you guys can save 20% off a yearly membership by scanning that little thing. And if you don't scan that, you can just go to their website and type in Mindac in the promo code. And uh, like I said, you'll save 20% off. So that is some really good savings there, but I'm gonna sit here. It is about 6 p.m. And these birds are probably gonna feed for another two hours or so, but I'm just gonna see where these birds come from and then where they go to roost. And then hopefully tomorrow morning, myself, Sam, and maybe some other people will try to hunt these, but this is looking good so far. Well, I'm still waiting here, waiting for these birds to go and roost, but I thought I would just give a couple scouting tips right now and a reason why I'm out right now watching them roost. Uh, I guess I just start out with, number one, I'm watching them go to sleep tonight or put them to bed because I want to know where they're going to be in the morning and what direction they're going to come from. That's going to play a role in how we set up the spread tomorrow as well as just being aware of kind of like where they're going to be and where not to park the truck or, and we don't want them flying over our backs, so on and so forth. But for early season scouting goose tips, I mean, I probably got four tips for you guys. Number one, find some cut wheat. Number two, find a water source. Number three, make sure to put a lot of miles on. And number four, when you get denied on a feed, just don't let it get to you. Keep going out and just keep going and going and going. Those are my four main early goose scouting tips. And I guess I'll add a fifth one in there. Download OnX because that helps a lot. You wouldn't be able to do any of this without OnX. So I guess there's that's my five golden rules of early goose scouting and uh yeah um hopefully that helps you guys i know your guys seasons are about to open up and i wish all of you the best of luck drop comments down below when your guys' hunting shenanigans begin Alright, so I just watched a bunch of geese get up and leave. They're all gone now. And I got some on film, but then it got dark so I couldn't film the rest of the groups. But basically, what we have working with is they do not roost where I thought they were going to roost. 
I thought they were gonna roost south of here, but a lot of them went north west of here and east of here. So uh, it's a good thing that I came out here and put these birds to bed because if I would have gambled, I would have gambled wrong. I would have been setting up for them to come that way. So uh, that's interesting. You guys definitely need to put your birds to sleep. It's gonna help you pay off. But uh, that is a good news though that they're coming from like three or four different roosts because that means your birds aren't gonna get up all at the same time and you're just gonna have one big volley. That's not gonna happen. Since there's multiple roosts, we should have groups coming from separate roosts one at a time. And uh, that means the hunting is good because you get more birds to shoot at instead of burning a bunch. So I'm gonna call Sam, give him a little update, share him this pin with the Onyx Hunt app, and I'll plan on seeing you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. Pro tip, if you're going to be hunting a bunch this fall, make sure to pre-make a bunch of breakfast burritos and uh, make sure they're kind of healthy and then back seal them and then just wake up, warm them up in the microwave and then go hunting because you're gonna spend an arm and a leg at the gas station this, this fall. So might as well try to save some bucks by making some uh, low carb little tortilla burritos here. This is like shredded turkey that I shot with eggs, some potatoes and onions, and then like a low carb uh, tortilla. So yeah, little pro hack for you guys. And then as I'm talking about being healthy, you guys saw my stash of white monsties. So kind of contradicts myself. Morning, brother. You made it. Uh, a little late, but I made it. I'm here. Luckily, it's foggy, so the birds probably won't get up for a little bit. So that's good. But it's a beautiful day out. Well, guys, we just got set up, and this is what our hide's going to be looking like. Looks pretty filthy, TBH. And then out yonder, we kind of just did family groups that just stretch into lines, pretty much. That's how they were sitting yesterday, if you guys remember watching the video but we got a mix of some Big Al silhouettes as well as some full bodies, as you can see. So it's looking pretty good. And if you guys remember from the scout yesterday, a lot of the birds are gonna be coming over there, over there, and then 55 of them are gonna come from over there. So hopefully my scouting pays off. Uh, it, it always makes it worth it if it does. So nonetheless, Beautiful morning, let's see if we can kill some birds. Locked and loaded. Mm. Shell in the wrong way. That was interesting. 
We got four. I don't know where those birds came from. They did come from behind us. But um, yeah, the, Sam and I are just sitting here. The fog has made them fly late. And then we saw like eight or so, or 10 of them come up, come in yeah. out of nowhere because of the fog. They just appeared and I'm like, oh crap. So we threw on the GoPros really quick and hopefully you got some, you got to see that. Me and Sam got four, five. Four. Four. I think I shot two and you shot two, eh? I don't know how I missed my last shot. Why'd they land so far out? Yeah, I don't know. They landed pretty far out, but there we go, boys. Not bad at all. We'll take that to start the day. They didn't do it bad for um, hey, not having any bigger, wind. Bro. Look, it's got a white patch on him, dude. That's sick. That is sick. Weed. Damn. Hey, there we go. All right, not a bad way to start the morning, boys. Oh, right here, on the right. Yep, they're coming right to us bro Am I calling or you can call her hello Oh my god. I shot four. <laughs> that one. Nice, John. Good shot. All right, you should go run and get that one. Okay. Yep. All right, I'll get these ones. Okay. okay good shoot. Good, good job. I shot like four there. Why did I? <sighs> Ten and two slots, John. Yes, yeah, those ones. They're perfect. Wait. So how many did you shoot? Four. Four or five. Sense. I shot four or five. Shot Slide a hand. They just sat there. I know. I so I'm like, well, I'm reloading and shooting, I guess. <laughs> that was crazy. This fog is helping us, but also kind of sucks. We just had like a 15 pack. Do it pretty perfect. I don't know how many shot out of it. Uh, you shot good. I didn't. I was just. I was shooting. Shot my three. I shot three right away, triple. And then they just sat there. So I reloaded, shot another one. And yeah, that was crazy. You took the three. Oh, I clicked on my third shot. Oh no. I clicked on my third shot, bro.
Damn, that was a sick group, dude. Did you get shooting on the left? Yeah, I got two. Okay, because I only I had the three, and I should have tripled, but that third shot was kind of far. Let's go, dude. Sheesh. Dude, the fog is minty right now. I just shot two, and Sam shot two. Heck yes, boys. That was sick. Back right, back right. Let's get in, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Okay. Go, go. Dude, that was an awkward shot. Sorry, we had to. Though. We had to, yeah. What the hell, bro? Do you hear more? Uh, those ones circled back around uh, to the east. I don't know really what they're doing. So those those ones were the birds that I I knew. With, those that was west. That was. Top pair, fresh pair. No, there's more than a pair, dog. Oh, yeah, there is. I don't even need to call, I don't think. Yeah. Uh, not the same as you just shut up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 It's all you, bro. Yeah, look, I guess. No bangs? I don't think so. Hey! Yeah, we could. I mean, I was like, eh, might as well just let them land and look for bands. Yeah, and they were kind of. I think those are the ones that we just shot at. Yeah. Boys, I don't even know what's going on right now. I'm sorry. The birds just started kind of flying. Sam and I shot three, then two, and then Sam just got one out of that group. They were a little bit far. I think they're the same group that originally worked us earlier, but I know there's more birds in here. So. This is going extremely well. The brother hunts never fail. When it's just me and Sam, we always seem to have an edge. Well, there she be, fellas. Nine geese each, 18 total. Not a bad hunt for me and the brother. That's actually really good for just two people early season. Oh yeah, we'll take that any day of the week, brother. Any day of the week. Well guys, we waited out here like another hour or so because uh, there's probably about 50 missing birds that never came and fed. And uh, we're seeing if they were gonna do a little late flight, but they ended up probably just sitting on water because as you can tell, it is so gosh darn hard out, hot out. It's gonna be 97 degrees. Blech. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. This was a super, super, super successful day for just a two person shoot. I mean, shooting nine geese each. You just can't complain. And if you guys were wondering what we were barking on today uh, for a goose call, my friend Corey from DRC Call Company, he gave me this and it's a core and I like it a lot. I'm not a very good goose caller, 
but I mean, you should go on his website. He's got a bunch of stuff, duck calls, all the goodies. So that is awesome. A lot of you guys also ask where I got this lanyard and I got it from my buddy, Ben, at Simply Waterfowl Co. Uh, you could look him up on Instagram and he'll make you a nice lanyard. I think he's actually gonna make Sam one, so that's pretty cool. But with all of that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And stay tuned, there'll be more hunts coming and I'm just waiting for the cold weather because this heat sucks. See ya! See ya!